Tonight at 10, the family of Alexis Patterson, the Milwaukee girl who disappeared more than a decade ago, has never wavered in their belief that she's alive. Now they have new hope that they're right. Good evening, I'm Katie Crowther. Thanks for joining us tonight. Milwaukee police have tested the DNA of a woman in Ohio who investigators say could be Alexis. Our Shannon Sims spoke with Senator Lena Taylor, who's been helping Alexis Patterson's family through this new development. Looking at pictures of the Ohio woman at the center of this missing persons investigation, Senator Lena Taylor is convinced. When I looked at the wedding picture, oh my goodness, I got chills. Looks a lot like Alexis to me. I, I personally think she's Alexis. Patterson's mother reached out to Senator Taylor's office last week when she first learned a Bryan, Ohio woman may be her lost daughter. We contacted the sheriff's office and and then they were literally in Ohio in less than 24 hours. You said they took their own DNA test. There are more than two DNA tests out here? Yes, already. Law enforcement has confirmed a DNA sample was taken from the woman. She has told media outlets she is not the seven-year-old missing girl. This new lead came from the woman's ex-husband that started to get curious about her past and reached out to a Journal Sentinel reporter and local law enforcement. I thank goodness for the sheriff's department acting as rapidly as they did. And they were literally in front of the woman with the law enforcement from that area in less than 24 hours. I mean, they were on it. As the family and law enforcement wait on test results, only time will tell if this is the missing piece to a 14-year-old cold case. It's emotional, of course. Imagine that 14 years that you've been searching for your child, but you have to wait. You have to let the process happen. In Milwaukee, Shannon Sims, today's TMJ4. And we're told it could take up to 10 days for the DNA results to come back.